Hi everyone! I'm Shaina and I'm here on this channel to do a series of vlog about my journey in reviewing for the Cisco CCNA. It's been a year since the day that the COVID-19 virus ruined the whole world and distracted the life of many people. We lost our loved ones. We lost so many opportunities. We lost our jobs. We lost our direction. But thanks to my employer, because I'm able to keep my current job as a service desk that time, and I'm able to work at home. I got an extra time to do so many social media activities and just enjoy the time that I have to do the things that I'm doing happily. Year 2020 is about to end, and I still don't know what will I do on my career. Will I stay as a service desk? Until I met our instructor, Neil Anderson, who helped me to have a direction in life, to build my career in IT. So, I started to review for the Cisco CCNA exam. And it's been 8 weeks guys since I started reviewing for the Cisco CCNA exam and now I'm on the section 19 on our course outline. But I have a major problem that I need to resolve before I go any farther on my review. Obviously guys, my problem is the Cisco commands. I'm getting lost with the Cisco iOS commands. But before we go any farther with this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel and ring the notification bell so you'll be updated whenever I posted a new video. Alright, so what I did to resolve this issue guys, I stopped here on section 19 and I played with the lab exercises from the beginning up until the section 19 lab exercise. So I can get familiar with it. I'm able to prove that you can't really learn things if you will just memorize it or by just watching it on the video and it will not get into your system by just thinking about it or knowing it by theory. For example guys in cooking, you can't really learn cooking by just watching videos or by just reading cookbooks. You need to do it, you need to try it and see it for yourself. You have to experience it so you can learn it. And I apply the same thing on myself. Even if I can learn or memorize the Cisco commands and syntax by just watching the videos, but it will not work. I have to try it and do it on the packet tracer so I can get familiar with it. I've never experienced using the packet tracer during my college days and I'm not really good in programming. But I need to resolve this issue so I can survive the exam. So what I did guys, I have here a spare notebook and I write all of the commands here. Like what I said on my previous vlog, I can easily learn things if I will write it. So that's what I did. I write all of the commands here so I can get familiar with it. I can see it so that I can memorize it. And also, in addition to that, I also print um, a lab exercise here. This is from section 17, Dynamic Routing Protocols, answer key. I print it, guys. So I'm able to highlight some commands here. I can have um, something on hands that um, I can write anything that I am thinking about. So I can write things here or if I want to do a notes, I can easily write it here. I just need to make ways guys and be creative on how I will review which I think is better for me. I have to experiment with some strategies and also I have to fight with my laziness. Even though I can learn the commands by just watching the videos but I have to do it and I have to force myself to type it on the packet tracer. So that's what I did guys. I typed the commands on the packet tracer so I can exercise my fingers and it will get familiar with some syntax. Because you notice guys, when you're typing words, it will somehow get into your system. Your fingers will able to memorize the words. 
So that's what I did. I have to fight with my laziness and I have to force myself to practice with the Cisco commands on the packet tracer. I practice typing the commands and I try to understand the situations and the questions on the lab exercises. And also guys, I watch some videos on YouTube related to Cisco commands. I really appreciate other videos. I appreciate those videos and I'm able to learn something from their videos. What I've learned so far guys, for example, how to ping, the benefits of using the ping command, how to view the routing table via show IP route, how to configure an IP address on an interface, how to configure routers to use the DNS server, the function of trace route and telnet commands, and of course, how to configure the host name, how to show the connected interfaces using show ip int brief command of course guys there are still commands that are not yet syncing on my memory like the commands from the cisco device management like how to do the factory reset password recovery system image backup and recovery but i have to learn about it i have to memorize it it needs to get into my system probably i need to play with the commands or i need to do more exercises using these commands on the packet tracer and also there are so many commands that you can learn on the dynamic routing protocols section like what i said guys i printed the whole lab exercise of dynamic routing protocols so i can easily study the commands here i actually put an effort to print this guys so what else i did last week guys i also practiced with some alpha prep quizzes and if you're new to our channel i already did a separate video about my reaction to the alpha prep exam you can check the link on the description below so you can watch what is alpha prep exam and how it will help us in reviewing for the cisco ccna exam and also guys to be more resourceful i downloaded and copied all of the pdf files from section 1 to section 19 to my cell phone so i can review anywhere or everywhere because usually guys during weekends we go in some places i also like to travel guys so instead of wasting my time on the traffic whenever we stuck in the traffic i am thinking about to just read my notes using my phone so i can review everywhere so on my next review it's gonna be the section 20 all about open shortest path first and i'm very excited to learn what i can learn on this topic so guys where are you now on our review feel free to share your thoughts on the comment section share something on the comment section feel free to shout out guys and also don't forget to connect with me on my linkedin account this is my linkedin account connect with me and i will also connect with you and also don't forget to follow us on our social media accounts let's stay connected on different social media platforms the link to that is also on the description below if you like this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and also feel free to download the lab exercises guide for free the link to that is also on the description below make sure to check that out and what else that i can say here is see you on my next video guys